hey it's vanessa and welcome to my youtube channel if you're not new welcome back and if you're new make sure you subscribe by the end of the video so yeah today i'm gonna talk about how i'm getting rid of my clothes i've got too many clothes and right now i'll say i'm using vintage i've used it for about two months over so yeah i'm using vintage to get rid of my clothes so i've and Vinted is like, it's a bit like Depop. You sell your clothes and then you put it out there. Obviously, it's second hand everything. And just people will, will, will buy it from you. You don't even have to worry about shipping because they pay for shipping. And Vinted makes your shipping label for you. And you just print it out at home and send it off. It's like really, really good. I will show you at the end of the video a, a quick way of using it. So, yeah, I've currently got two two parcels to send off today so yeah i've got clothes and do i've gift like clothes charity or cash for clothes cash for clothes and another way to get rid of money to get rid of clothes but literally you it's literally 50 50p per kilo and you can get a massive bag i think i got a massive bag of clothes like really big bag and they gave me two pound fifty two pound fifty like it was this big like really really big so they'll calculate everything on the way so if you got cash for clothes the only way you can get lots of clothes if you put shoes in bags in big fat coats in like really heavy jeans <laughs> like heavy heavy stuff but yeah like the most you get away is 10 pound like you, you ain't gonna leave lots of money from cash for clothes you know i've also gave uh to charity really nice but yeah i'm currently using vintage so yeah these are some of the like i've put this up already this is from boohoo this is two years ago i've never wore it not once it didn't size me like it's a size 12 and i was like you know what i'm gonna lose weight and it's gonna go all in and i'll be able to wear this and slay this is me uh, speaking and it's been two years and it does i still I, can't, I still can't get in and then it was funny at the beginning i was losing some weight and i finally got it but it was really tight but i've gotten it and i don't know what happened and i just started putting my weight on and it didn't fit me anymore so yeah i'm not waiting no more so it is going that it is that is going most of the clothes i'm selling really do, is the size for me like i've got this box this suitcase and most suitcases do sell so i've got this one and when it comes to selling i sell if you want to get rid of quickly sell it super cheap obviously things that are worth price like um like designer obviously you need to prove receipts and stuff um i think i sold the volunteer bag and yeah you you they will ask you not them not the customer the um, vintage will ask you because obviously you need to put what brand it is and obviously vintage knows which brands are designers and which ones aren't so vintage will later put like a notification or something need to prove that it's real and the way to prove it is by showing the label the receipts um things like that and it will ask you to prove it so that's a way of proving it and if it's a fake we'll just write in the fake and you know not issue because if you get caught selling something that is fake and it wasn't real oops it won't be a good look and also the best thing about vinted obviously each account there will be reviews and i always look at the reviews and all my reviews are five stars. So when people look at your reviews, they know they can trust you and buy it from you. Like if you see reviews like one star, you click it and it says send not completed, send not completed. The person canceled the order, you're like, right, okay, there's no point on buying. Obviously, sometimes you see that there'll be no reviews, and sometimes I'm like, is it a scam? Like, is you can't get scammed. Like, you can't get scammed. Vincent knows when your person has been sent. And if it hasn't been sent, the, the money will get returned back to the customer. So you can't get scammed. But I feel like there is still scammers everywhere. And they'll figure out, they'll 
figure a way to you know get around it but yeah and also obviously when you receive the parcel you've got two days to report any issues and all that shite so yeah this is one of dresses that that i'm saying it's like a casual summer dress kind of thing actually a person asked me uh, what's the length of it and you know what i still haven't told you yet so i need to find a tape and measure this measure measure this dress so yeah this is such a cute dress as well like it's such a cute dress this is a size 12 but it fits like a 10 not gonna lie when it comes to miss pop i feel like they're very strict with the sizing a little bit they got a bit small not gonna lie but yeah i convinced myself i'm gonna lose where i'm fitting and i didn't so yeah this dress this dress well convinced myself i'm gonna fit in but i didn't and i just i bought this on self for a and i'm selling it for like five months and stuff so yeah this is oh i love this so much this satin one but yeah it doesn't size me so it's literally all up on my vintage website this is a very it's metallic dress this fits me, but I've not worn it. So, you know what? I will show you how it fits. And yeah, I will show you quickly how it fits. And um, yeah. So, this is how this dress looks. Do you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, it's not it's not an ugly dress. And it actually looks nice on me. The I'm debating if I should get rid of it. It's actually nice. But it's the fact that I don't wear it that's the thing but it's a pretty nice dress though it is a nice dress i've got leggings here so yeah it's like above it's a knee length i'll say it is knee length it's like a silvery metallic color but yeah it is nice Do you know why it's actually a, a nice dress? See, it's like new with tag and everything. Uh, it's been here for about a year. Never wore it once. But yeah, it is. It is nice. I've just never seen the opportunity to wear the dress, if you know what I mean. But it's a nice dress. But yeah, I've also got this one. This fits me. But same thing, I've never wore it. It's a gold one. I actually wear this and show you guys. Yeah, it's a gold one, never wore it, not once. This is how the dress looks. Okay. It's pretty. I like now I'm debating to sell this one again. It's a pretty dress. I just never worn it once. But yeah, I like the dress though. It's a pretty dress. And I bought this from TK Majesty again, near with tag. But yeah, it's a nice dress, but it's just I don't wear it. And the amount of clothes it sits in your wardrobe collecting dust, not wearing it whatsoever. It's actually a joke. Like I bought it a year ago and not wear it not once. Same with my heels. Some of them are new in tag. But I don't know, there's something about heels that I keep really like. Like, it doesn't matter. They can be sitting there for about five years and I'm not getting rid of it. But clothes, I can get rid of them anytime. But, yeah. This is how the dress looks. So, yeah, this is... It then is nice, but I just don't wear it. Like, and I just don't want to have clothes sitting in my wardrobe that I don't wear or sitting in suitcases because it's just what's the point. But, yeah, uh, this is another dress. This one fits me, yeah. But I wore it for Halloween last year. No, last last two years. Oh, my Lord. Last two years. Only one once. Lord. And, yeah, I never wore it again. So, yeah, I feel like a lot of people have a lot of clothes sitting on the closet, sitting on suitcases. And, yeah, it's time to get rid of some stuff and create space 
like i've also used vintage to showcase my business like sometimes if i've got um clearing i will put it out there or sometimes just like um products like newly products that i've added to my business i'll just put it there just to showcase it and just to get new new customers attract new customers and it does work so yeah and you can also boost your wardrobe that's how they call it in vintage so more there's more traffic and more people go in it so yeah my name is vanessa 20 on vintage so if you want to purchase one of these these ones my clothes it'll be there there's also another other stuff there that you know the in it's getting rid of but yeah and i've got loads and loads and loads and loads to sell but yeah step by step so yeah i just wanted to show you where i how i sell my stuff and where i sell it i will have a little video at the end it's showing you how it works and all that stuff and all that shite and yes i i will do like a little tutorial just to show you but yeah if anyone is interested just check vanessa 20 just check vanessa 20 just to look at my wardrobe and see what you like and yeah it is a good way of getting rid of stuff especially if you've got designer stuff and you know you don't want to give it away for charity you feel like it's not like it's selfish but you feel bad that you're giving it away for free and it costs you about 500 pound you know i get the feeling you can get a lot of money from there and you know you you know you put the price up whatever price you want and also vinted gives you a guide on what prices you should sell it to so obviously if i put this for 500 pound i can but vinted will literally put a comment at the bottom saying we won't advise you to sell it for 500 pound because this brand is worth blah, blah 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 you know what i mean so he also advise you on so you're not lost you're not lost it's better than depop depop i feel is more like for proper business 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 like i feel like vintage is more for personal use but i feel like i struggle i use vintage i've used depop before and i feel like i struggle but yeah use whatever whatever platform to sell your clothes but yeah, this is mine. So check my wardrobe out, Vanessa 20. And yeah, I'll see you on my next video. I will show you a little video of the tutorial at the end. Just to know how to man just to know how to use it and stuff. So yeah, see you later.